We came to Baltimore on Monday night to cover the unrest, and on Tuesday night we were at a protest at one of the barricades in West Baltimore, and we saw Joseph Kent. We thought that what he was doing was interesting because he was acting as a sort of buffer between the police and the protesters. By law, they got to give us three warnings. So just because the first time they say we got to move, we don't have to. But the third time, that's when they're going to start pushing us. That's pushing why us how? Gas and bullets Ooh. and rubber bullets. They're going to start using force. Right. And in fact, we thought he might be working with the police at first. But as time progressed, we saw that he was trying to defuse the situation and it was his form of activism. I've been involved in a lot of uh, crazy stuff, but I've been controlling it. So when we got back to our hotel later on Tuesday night, we were editing some of our other pieces and we saw him being arrested on live TV. And there was a lot of buzz on social media about his arrest and people were thinking that maybe he was kidnapped by the police, that he was just a protester who got too close. So this morning we found out that he was released and we went to his house and spent time with him and his family. I am. I'm very proud of him. I did tell all of my teenage boys to go out there and, you know, get involved with the protest, but I wasn't expecting him to do what he did. I was actually shocked. Were you worried yesterday? Very worried. I was very worried. I was at work. I kept calling my my other son, asking, you know, have you heard from him? Has anybody called? And um, I was pretty much going off of what was going on the internet because I hadn't heard anything. So I was very worried. I know a lot of people would want to know if I'm okay and worried and stuff, so I'm just going to go around here and let everybody know is everything good and um, just keep protesting but positively. I never even reached out to the police, to be honest. They reached out to me because they seen the impact I had and I seen all the people. I start, all right, little bro, good thing you home. I start talking to people, um, telling them who I am and what I do, and then after that, I just seen, I seen it really get violent. So when I came around here, they do the gas bomb. I had to put the ma um, the mask to cover myself from like my breathing and all that to maintain my breathing. So when I actually came around, I came slow with my hands up. They used like a wedge contact technique to like, that was all planned I think because how, how they did it so smoothly and then I just automatically disappeared and everything like that. The police that I was like actually negotiating everything with and talking to around there, he was like, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna go talk to them, tell them that you was a, uh, a good person, you was trying to help work with us and everything. He never, he's like, I'm gonna come back. He never got back with me and then they just drove me away after that. You gonna be a police officer? Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, you want to I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's a good job. Last time I was out here, they snatched me in a Humvee and all that, but. Like, they had this block though. Wait a minute, that was you just the yeah. They just did some type of wedge, wedge technique and that was it. It was a technique. Yeah. But I'm back out. Like everybody it went worldwide seeing yeah, yeah, it. Like, I, I saw. I didn't realize yeah. that was you at all. Y'all went to school together? Something like that. You grew up together. Oh for real? Yeah. Well, I got my son's behind the car with me, so all right. All right, good seeing you, all right. All right. I do have uh, kind of a connection inside the police department with like kind of individuals and stuff like that. That's like friends or family and that's going to support me too. So. Um, and through the work you do, you think you have a good relationship with the police? Yeah. I mean, I do, just certain ones, because at the end of the day, all police ain't bad, but all of them ain't good. Like, a lot of